Uh, my name's uh, Jake Saunders, and I'm a solo, solo performer, plays guitar, sings, play original songs, and uh, a few covers at the same time. And go on to the next side. Push your hand. Yeah, I'm a singer-songwriter. I do, um, I do, um, well, I perform, I perform at different places around Hertfordshire. I perform at little, um, little venues, marquees, birthday parties, pubs, all around Hertfordshire. And it's more chilled out, chilled out song. I want to perform in, I mean, I want to do, maybe do a live lounge or something like that, something just chilled out where everyone can just listen to. And, uh, I think I'm going to be where it's not something really a bit casual and um, smart, smart at the same time. So jeans and a shirt, something like that. So it's like chilled out as well. Um, and the person that I'm, I kind of want to be is someone more confident than I am in real life. So in real life, I'm not a very confident person. So when I go on stage and I sing my own songs, I can be whoever whoever I want to be, sing whatever I want. So I turn into something different. And um it's got the, it just goes to the mouse or something. And they're uh, cheering someone that I so his music I love listening to and what I kind of want to do for myself. This, this is the type of music I like doing. Okay. Just chill down, not like slow music. Against my chest, lips pressed to my neck, and for it for your eyes. Yeah, I don't see that they don't know what to get. This feeling of being good. Just click into the click into the slides. Oh, yeah. That's it. You're good. Um, let me com communication that I'm going to be doing. I'll probably, because it's, because um, I'm going to be doing a lot of the song on my own, a um, lot, um, lot of it on my own and playing guitar. Uh, the only communication I'll really be doing is maybe with the sound engineer, say if my guitar was too loud or was reverb or anything like that. I wouldn't probably, I'll try and interact with the crowd a bit more so I can be more confident and let them know that I'm enjoying myself so they can enjoying myself a little, little bit more, but I won't be interacting with the crowd as much. Um, the, the, um, the place I'll probably be, would prefer performing at is a smaller venue where the crowd is quite close, you can interact with the crowd a lot more than if it was at big concert where there's all these faces you don't know but with a small venue you can interact with the crowd a lot more and that'll probably be towards 25 to uh, 30 people that's just chilled out environment and that'll be with like, slow music and it's where people can maybe to relate to your type of music and get involved a little bit more as well. Things um, I probably struggle with a lot more that I've probably comes with uh, um, playing a lot more, getting more. I need to um, get better at my confidence. Um, I need to interact with the crowd more and get more involved. 
and move around more instead of just standing still and just playing guitar and not doing anything. I need to get more involved. And um, well, the way I'll probably be doing these, I need to practice a lot more, perform in more places, getting more gigs in pubs and everything, because pubs is probably the best place you can do it, because most of the time people aren't really listening when they're in pubs. So you can just do what you do best and just get on with it, because yeah, it's probably the best place to get your confidence up, because no one's, most of the time no one's really listening and drinking, so yeah. Um, so I perform in more pubs and clubs and stuff like that, more comfortable places where with your mates you can have a laugh as well. So that's a good way to do as well. Um, the equipment I'll be need is a I've got my guitar, I've got a guitar lead. Um, what I'll need is a a mic. Um, emergency equipment would probably be bringing extra lead, um, extra battery fuel my acoustic guitar. Um, maybe bring two picks as well, one if one breaks, um, two mic leagues if um, one of them doesn't work, and two mics. Um, but I don't, I'm not sure if I wanted to bring an extra guitar if one, but I should bring maybe a um, extra strings just in case one of the strings slap and I can change it in the backstage or something like that. And I'll need a um, guitar, 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 um, mic, speakers, guitar lead. PA, mic stand, uh, capo, that's what I'll need for mine, because I don't really need, because I'm doing everything on my own, I'm probably not going to need as much as if you was in a band. And, uh, yeah, the communication with the technician staff, if um, my guitar or my mic um, is too loud, or I need something changing, maybe the reverb or the treble or bass or anything like that, or, um, if there's feedback between the mic and the speakers, that's what communication I'll be doing with the engineer. Um, the health and safety was probably best to, when you've got leads sitting around, you don't want to trip, a, trip, trip over them, so tuck them around the side of the stage maybe, so if you're walking around you don't trip over and pull something out or damage anything. Um, don't have any um, cups or drinks around any speakers or let on the stage. Have it in uh, bottles. Make sure you've got um, lids tight. So if they fall over or you drop it, it doesn't spill. And um, don't face your mic um, towards the speakers because you'll get feedback. It could damage your ears or damage the equipment. And make sure you wear um, earplugs so you don't get um, tinnitus. Tinnitus, so that doesn't damage your ears for um, for the future, and um, make sure the volume levels are before you turn the PA. Make sure everything's down. So if you turn on and everything's up, it could make a pop. Make sure you turn on the PA before the speakers. I think because then it doesn't like pop, so it doesn't damage any of the equipment and speakers. Um, I think that's it. Okay, cool, great, well done. Uh, just a couple of questions then. <clears throat> so you talked about your set being chilled out. Yeah. Um, do you know what the set's going to be, the set list is yet? It's, um, I'm going to be doing uh, original songs, all original. One's uh, Smile, one's called um, This Crazy World, and another one's called Hypnotised. Okay, and what are those songs about generally? Are they the ones you've written, yeah? Yeah, all, uh, one of them's about, um, this is called um, The Crazy World, this is about how in the last 30 years, technology has taken over our world and we're slowly um, just destroying our world with technology, basically. Okay. And it's about wanting to go back back in time when there was just basically sticks and stones. And then another song is Smile, is about someone uh, smiling to someone on a bad day. That smile travels around the world and when that person has a bad day, that smile came back to them. Up their day. And he realised the smile travelled around the world and came back to him. Is that your own concept or did you get the Yeah, yeah. That's, that's nice. mine, yeah. And then um, the hypnotised, it was just uh, recently, that a few weeks ago, I wrote this. It's about when I was down um, Devon with my brother and those mates, we watched the sunset on the hill waiting for, yeah, watch, watching the sunset and it's about that waiting for something to happen and still waiting. I don't know, it was. 
yeah, it's just yeah, it's about watching the sunset on the hill basically. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, you said that, the, that you you can be more confident on stage is that, and than you are in real life. How how do you go about doing that? How do you kind of sum it um, up? I think maybe it just comes with it um, experience maybe, and I think maybe when I'm performing on stage, if I've got my family there maybe, I get quite nervous but I think maybe performing in front of more family and friends so I can get used to doing that and maybe perform in more places where there's a lot more people and they're a lot more um, in smaller venues because they're a lot more closer to you so you kind of interact with them more okay. so you get more confident. That's good. Um, <clears throat> you, you're not going to talk about movement on stage, you're not going to be moving a great deal on stage. No, because I'm going to be uh, sitting down Right. stage but uh, so will you talk yeah. to the audience seated or will you get up to talk to the audience or will you stay seated is it that kind of, that um, kind of gig? I'm probably going to be come on stage and then sit down and speak to the audience sitting down and then say what the song's about and what the lyrics are about and stuff like that then yeah but I won't be interacting with them as much okay good well done yeah.